Hello everyone and welcome to another Smart Arts What's in the Box. My name is Jake and today we'll be going over what is in April's Smart Art Box. We got some really cool stuff this month so let's hop down below and see what we got. Alright, like always, we will open up our box to the Smart Art brochure, open it up, and you will see some history on the materials in this box, as well as a total list of everything you're going to find in here. Flip to the next page, and you will get your quick start guide to get yourself a little bit of a starting idea on how to use these products. Flip to the next page, and you will see your skill challenge guide to give yourself a little extra challenge using these products this month. And then flip to the back and you will see some pointers on how to get the best results using these materials, as well as your weekly challenge prompts. Okay, so the first thing out of this box is the Faber-Castell Studio Soft Pastel 24 set. These acid-free chalk-based pastels are made with a pure pigment and lay down extremely colorful and have a very smooth and vibrant look. These work well when it comes to blending your work together and can be used directly onto the paper or ground up and used as powder. These pastels should be a lot of fun to work with this month. Next out of this box, we have the Faber-Castell Kneadable Colored Erasers. These erasers are ideal for correcting any mistakes you may make and can be shaped to whatever you need to make any adjustments in your work and can also be used to remove just small amounts of material to achieve some highlights in your finished piece. Next out of this box, we have the 12-piece blending stumps and sandpaper pad. These work well in combination with pastels, charcoal, or pencil to achieve a very smooth gradient in your work. These sandpaper can be used to sharpen the point of your pencils or pastels, or you can create a nice powder with your pastels as well. These should help a lot with our work this month. Alright, next out of this box is the Royal and Langnickel Charcoal Drawing Tin. This tin contains everything you may need to make some beautiful charcoal work. In here you will find an assortment of charcoal pencils, woodless charcoal pencils, vine and natural charcoal, all within a single tin. These will definitely help with refining some of our stuff this month. Next out of here we have the 10 yard roll of white artist tape. This tape can be used for many applications like cropping your art, tacking down your artboards, and more. This tape can accept pens, pencils, markers, and more to allow you to use this as labels as well. This is a nice little addition for this month's box. And the next thing out of this box is the oil-based white paint marker. This paint marker is great for adding the final touch to your work. This paint dries permanent to your piece and allows you to add any bright highlights that you may want after you've completed your piece and you just want a little extra pop to it. This is something that's going to come in very handy this month. And the last thing out of this box is the Hannah Mule Sketch and Pastel Paper Pad. This paper is created with 100% cotton rag and is age resistant and acid free. This paper features a very fine grain, even surface that works great with pencil, charcoal, pastels, and more. With 30 sheets in this pad, you will have a lot to work with this month. But that is everything in this box, except of course our candy and sticker. But let's get everything out of here and start making some beautiful art. So with today's piece, I wanted to make a portrait that worked well with some of the very vibrant colors in this pastel set. So I started off by getting the main line work down with the medium soft charcoal pencil that was in the tin, and then tried to get a solid foundation set up. So for the color part, I decided to go with grinding up the pastels using the sandpaper and applying small amounts at a time to the portrait using the blending stumps. And as I built up the colors, I also removed some of it using the eraser in some of the areas that I felt had too much color. The one area I wanted to keep pretty bold though was the color that was going to be in the hair. I thought it would be a really nice contrast between the skin and the hair section. And once I did all the colors, I just had to go back in with the charcoal and bring some of the darks back into this piece. But I will be quiet and let you all enjoy this and I will see you all at the end with the final results.
All right, everyone, that is everything in April Smart Art Box. These materials were a lot of fun to work with, but now it's your turn to see what you can create using the materials in this box. Now, don't forget about the weekly challenge prompts in your brochure, as well as the videos each week where I try to tackle each challenge prompt myself. Complete all four of the weekly challenge prompts and post them to social media using the hashtag Smart Art Weekly and Smart Art Project to get your 500 Peacock points. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you check out the Smart Art Bundles. If you don't know what they are, they are a set of boxes that have a very specific set of materials in each box. If you want more information on that, make sure to check out the Smart Art webpage. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss videos like this. And if you enjoy my work, make sure to check me out over my personal channel over at Naughty Egg Draw. The link's going to be down in the description. But that is all for today, everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.